So we picked up a special receipt, and then Jesse has, we have a stock servo SPM S401. Spiaow, spiaow, spiaow. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Keith here on the bench, Jesse on the camera. And tonight we are opening up and taking a look at our new ProBoat Riverjet 23 inch RTR Deep V Jet Boat. Now, um, this guy, we wanted it for a while. We picked this up over at Eliminator RC from our friends there. Uh, we've kind of been him and hawing about it. Jesse and I aren't really boat people. We like the challenge of rock crawling or sliding a car and drifting or wheeling the X-Max or something like that, or doing huge jumps and stuff. Boats and on-road, like traction on-road cars are just kind of boring to us. They're two-dimensional, flat ripping around. But a jet boat is always cool, and the cool thing about this guy is he's a nice scale that will look good on a trailer behind one of our crawlers, even if we don't have fun driving it. So it's still a win-win. We can, we can figure it out. So uh, before I open it up, let's go over a couple details on the box. The beam, which is the width across the booty on the boat, is 8 inches or 203 millimeters. Uh, the hull length is 23 inches or 584 millimeter from tip to booty. Uh, it's got a 90 amp water cooled ESC, which is capable from 2S to 4S. You're not going to want to run this boat on 2S. I don't even think it would get on plane. It would just be pointless. I could be wrong, but you're going to want to go three probably lean towards 4S. Uh, water, a lot of drag, needs a lot of power. So 4S would be hot on that, pretty nice. Uh, 2300 kV four pole brushless motor, uh, outrunner motor too. And it actually has a flywheel on it with an auto writing system. So if the boat ends up upside down, which it probably will do in rapid busting and stuff, you can just burp the throttle a bunch of times and get the boat to turn over. So you go throttle brake, throttle brake. Uh, there is no reverse. So you just go throttle brake, throttle brake a few times to get that weight to kind of make the hull roll over. So yeah. It's pretty cool that setup. Uh, top speed, they're rating it here for 25 mile an hour on um, 3S or 30 mile an hour on 4S. Um, pretty good in the world in the world of RC boats. That's dog slow. Most RC boats are like 60 to 100 mile an hour. They're just stupid fast. Uh, I know like uh, our buddy Ben's Blackjack. I think is like 60 mile an hour out of the box. I think it was just a rocket ship. So, but anyway, different boats, different strokes. So. Comes beautifully packaged up in a nice classic cardboard box. Probably been recycled a thousand times, but it still does its job. So it comes with a nice little stand right here. Pull the boat up. It's got no writing on it. I think it's just a piece of molded um, Lexan or something? Poly, polycarbonate? Polycarbonate. Wait, that's Lexan. <laughs> uh, it's got some foam on it to protect. It'll scratch off the hull on the boat with its cool little paint job. Uh, they got the radio package in this side here to protect the tip in shipping and then on the back they've got extra packaging to protect the jet with a nice big space so that's important to check because you know these things are getting shipped around the world and I have got boats before that have been broken because they weren't packaged nicely. There is a roll bar on the top. Do not grab it and lift by that. I have watched all the videos on YouTube about the boat and that is the weak spot. So you don't want to just get underneath it, pick it up. That is not a carrying handle. That is a deck aeration. It's not a roll bar. It won't protect your boat. Cool. Jesse can get some good shots of that. Okay, wow, that boat looks fantastic now that we have it out of the box. Um, yeah, we get the little driver here on the right-hand side. Boats you drive from the right, not the left. Depends on what part of the world you're in. Uh, that could be normal for you, but uh, around here we drive on the left-hand side. So, uh, looking pretty cool. We get the little blue and orange driver in there. Uh, their faces look like they hit a wall. They're very flat. Um, we're gonna probably find some different heads for them. We do have plans for this boat. We'll reveal that in the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna be cool to see. Uh, what our plans are you guys are going to dig that so um yeah let's talk about this boat um now the cooling line for your uh, esc and your motor just slips onto that fitting on there yeah they take it off in shipping just so the hose can just lay out like that simple enough um 
Very cool. That's on there. Let's open this guy up. It's got four little thumb screws. We'll come back and talk about that very cool little jet nozzle and setup right there. Just want to kind of get inside this thing, talk about the hull first, uh, running equipment and such like that. Okay, so starting with the cover, we have these nice four little thumb screws. Take that off to go into these nice little receivers. I'll show you guys a little uh, close up of that. Very nice. This is just a molded piece of plastic for the door. Unfortunately, these sometimes get, they fall off. There's a lot of vibration stuff. We have lost these, almost lost them both because of it, but yeah. Uh, the hull itself is actually ABS molded, and it looks like it's all got some reinforcement, like kind of like a gusset in the back corner. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. A little bit of extra strength back there. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so we got the big jet pump in there here. We have that 2300 kV 14 pole brushless motor. I, I, I read the 14 and said four pole because I haven't heard of a 14 pole, but I guess that's the outrunner. Um, we're more rock crawlers, you guys know that. So, uh, 14 pole is pretty pretty cool, actually. It's gonna be like a radial, it's gonna fire and have a lot of uh, torque. It's gonna be pretty cool. And there's that big flywheel we're talking about right there. That's uh, what, you're, what you're gonna use to flip the boat over. Sorry, there's a big flywheel right here, guys. And you can see that's the weight that gives it the inertia when you snap the motor to get the hull to actually roll right back over. Um, a lot of guys are saying that you need to, it only works when you have a full battery. That is not true. Um, once your battery hits lipo cutoff, it will not work, but it will work up until lipo cutoff on it, so. Okay, and then down over here, beside the jet pump, we actually have the 90 amp dynamite water-cooled ESC laid in there. Can you guys see that in there? Yeah. See a little ESC tucked in there. And right behind it, we got the receiver. Now we're gonna have to swap out that receiver because we have plans for this boat. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, and then the very back corner, you've got your power and your program button right in there. So uh, very nice setup. You got this really nice, big, beefy um, Outrunner 14 pole brushless setup in the middle, hooked directly to this really nice jet pump on it. Uh, very cool. Okay, and this side over here, you guys, we have the steering servo laid up here with a nice little linkage with the little bellows actually mounted on the inside instead of the outside um, to give it a little bit more throw without it uh, kind of getting bound up. Gives you more room, you can get the controls in tighter when you have them on the inside. So that comes out to here. Now this guy on this side is for your variable trim. Now if you want to adjust the trim, like right now, the jet pump is pointing down so the boat's going to drive like this. Not going to work, right? So inside there is this rod and that set screw 1.5 millimeter you loosen that you can slide that forward and backward set the trim you want but jesse and i decided that's no good um pro boat offers uh the mount is already there and the linkage is already there okay so the two parts you're going to need to buy to do the servo um trim upgrade is the mini servo spm s401 it's not a sub it's not a whatever, it's just a mini servo. Very simple, you can use whatever you want for a mini, just get a mini. We used what they recommended on the box because we like to get it right, especially when we're filming. We don't wanna go, oh, it didn't work and yada, yada, yada. We, we got parts, we're just not in the hobby digging through things, so. If you're gonna need an SR315, or if you're using a different radio, a Futaba, whatever you prefer to run, you're just gonna need a three channel receiver and gut the stock radio system out and give it to somebody. It's always good to pay it forward. So take it out, pay it forward, give it to somebody down the road, go from there. Um, that's pretty much enough about that. Did we talk about the foam seal around here? Looks fantastic. These nice little anchor points in there for the thread ends. Um, everything looks great. Very nice build quality. Only sad part is when we strip this thing down and paint it for the future of this boat. So, uh, if you're wondering, it comes with a stock uh, DX2 and a book. Inside the manual, it'll tell you all the things you need to know about doing that servo conversion, and the rest of it is pretty basic, just on how to blow yourself up and all that good stuff. And they don't take responsibility if you do, and all that fun stuff. You do get your little tube for your servo. Um, your receiver we're going to wait to put that on once we swap out uh, to our uh, radio and then they give you a sticker and a piece of paper with some literature about buying some more stuff but well they got us again just another white back sticker garbage okay so that brings us to the end of showing you guys our new boat um if you're thinking about getting one right now is the time to get one eliminator rc has this boat on for 339 dollars canadian 
Now, if you live in America, I think you can get it down there. Um, use the Pro Noob RC when you buy the boat, save the money on the shipping, get it shipped down there with your guys' exchange rate, it should be uh, free. So, or like five bucks or something, like pretty damn close. So, uh, 300, and it cost me 300, and I think we use the Eliminator RZ promo code, we get 20 bucks off, and we got it for 319 plus tax. It's on sale, it's not a special deal, it's on sale. Uh, remember, we're not sponsored, we pay for everything in a pocket, we pay full price. So, um, we just support Ryan, he's a friend, and he's our local hobby, uh, hobby shop, just like you guys should be supporting your local hobby shops, because if you don't, you won't have them. And when you have money burning a hole in your pocket, you have to go over on Amazon and wait three days. So, <laughs> sucks. So, uh, anyway, enough about that. Uh, the boat looks great, but unfortunately, we're going to peel all those sexy decals off, throw them in the garbage, sand this boat down, paint it black, and then we're going to give it the um, same paint job as our Shreddy Bug. Now, if you guys check out Shreddy online or the Blake Wilkie organization there with all his vehicles, he's got Megalodon, this truck. Uh, what's the new one he built, that new shark pink thing or whatever? It's pretty dope. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, the front engine Volkswagen there, uh, Trophy Bug. I don't know what he's calling it. But anyway, he has his jet boat on a trailer behind his buggy in the same liveries. So we're actually going to paint this boat to match this guy. We're going to build a trailer that this guy will tow with this guy with trailing arm suspension just like his yeah so we're gonna do the same livery we're gonna build the trailer we're gonna do a cool little video uh, we're gonna talk to a couple of the uh, prominent 3d designers out there in the RC world and I know one of them in particular you probably know what I'm talking about um, did the same buggy but he had um, Blake Wilkie heads printed with the flat bill and the pit vipers and the long mullet and all that stuff just looking killer so I'm gonna try to get one for this guy if he'll do up another one like maybe we'll find a chick's head or something for this side and kind of do a swap out on that. But yeah, it's going to look fantastic in this livery. The black with the pink and the green. It looks great right now with the orange and the blue and silver. But when we're done with it, it's going to look killer. We're going to change out this roof. We're going to stretch it back and make it look more like the boat does in the video. And uh, you guys are going to love it. So stay tuned for that coming up. Uh, we're going to swap out that servo in there off camera, you guys. You don't really want to watch us fumble around in there. So it's kind of tough to work like this with filming it so we're gonna get that done we'll bring that back uh, you guys will see this outside it is spring here everything is melting like you wouldn't believe and that is another reason we're gonna go hoon some ditches with this thing and just beat on it for a bit um, we might grab another one with the price being so cheap because as soon as summer comes this boat's going back up to 450 bucks in Canada it's probably still free where you guys live but uh, in Canada it's gonna be 450 bucks so yeah so if you're looking for one look at hit up eliminator Tell them Pro-Nib sent you. Done. Oh, can we talk about this booty hole pose?